Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> Overlook T-Rose, take one. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another Overlook Heroes episode. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Mozzie. So, man, where you from? From Detroit. Detroit. We got another Detroit one on the platform, man. Big Shout Detroit out to Detroit. Shout out to Detroit. So, look, um, let's just dig right into it, man. Where did you start doing music? Um, I'm, I really was born into music, but, like, taking it seriously, like, four years ago. Okay. So, you know. Probably Under about the 20, name Mozzie. 2017. Exactly. 2018 time frame. Okay. 2017 for sure. Okay. What was your first single? My first single was a song called um, Tax with Young Thug. That was the first song I ever dropped. First song was with Young Thug? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's big shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's yes, big sir. shit. And that was around the time when he was kind of like on his rise. Like, was it Rich Gang yeah, era kind of? Brand new. Like right after Rich Gang? Before Rich Gang. Before, yeah, before, oh, this before was before. Birdman okay. Him okay. Up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you caught him at that, uh... Good time. Good time when he was there. Yeah, for sure. When that yeah. money was affordable. Yeah, I was fucking with Young Thug for a minute, so I already know about it. Uh, I was, too. It was it was hard to fuck with him in Detroit when he was coming out. Yeah. But, you know, like, when you a good artist, your music is, is gone. Yeah. Overweigh everything else, definitely. so, yeah. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Good look for me in the long run. Yeah, definitely, for sure. And you started doing music, you got the big feature. Um, what was next? Um, I dropped my solo project. It was called Trap Baby Season. And then after that, I just kept dropping. Last year, I dropped three albums. Okay. Um, this year, I got my deal. So I really just been chilling. Like, not chilling, but like, you know, moving on the label's time instead of like pure Mozzie. Like, I'm dropping every month. I'm doing, yeah. yeah. Do you feel like the label actually uh, is putting you like in the right direction? Um, I think the label is just giving me more discipline. Like, um, everybody think when they get signed, it's like everything is gonna take off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You still gotta put in work. You still gotta do the same thing if you really wanna be next level. Mm -hmm. So it's just a lot of things that I didn't know. You know, I'm learning. But discipline is the main thing. Being signed to me. Yeah, because a lot of people get on the record label and they don't realize how many people is actually signed to the label. You know what I'm saying? And That's you start right. realizing like, damn, it's many of me's. Well, not necessarily many of me's, but it's most. We all chasing rapping. that dream. And we you know all know doing the same thing. So you have to make sure yourself outshine yourself uh, so how has that been going you feel like everything like music wise that's coming for 2022 is ready and prepared for the people yes i'm um i'm smacking i'm smacking everybody next year in the head with this shit um normally like what i what i de um, did for y'all today this rap shit you know what i'm saying like that's me jumping back into that bag i normally be like wavy auto tuning so i'm i'm rapping all 2022 coming for everybody <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad they did that because I'm like, I don't know what to say. It's all good. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. They always seem to pop up around this time. Alright, uh, so we left off with the deal. 20, 2022 is gonna drop. Okay, cool. And do you have any upcoming projects dropping in 2022? Because I mean you just dropped like three of them. So I mean like is is Ethica like ready to release another one right now for you? What I dropped by myself was was all me. Okay. Um, that wasn't Ethica. Okay. And what I'm gonna drop in next month, you know, the beginning of next year, that's all me too. Okay. Me and Ethica, we got music together, but Ethica has like their rollout plan for me, okay. and I'm just, you know, maintaining, you know, out of sight, out of mind. I could just be sitting back, getting the money, and not putting out, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, you got to keep pressing. So yeah. that's what I'm doing. Just for on sure. my own, you know, Mizey, that's what she do. She like dropping, so okay. expect more. Okay, for sure. And to give some advice to the fans out there. Um, what type of advice would you give them coming in to get a sign in that deal? Like, how, how would you look back at that? If there was anything you could have did different or, you know, was everything set in stone and how it was supposed to be? You know, what type of advice would you give them? I'm going to say everything is set in stone. My deal is, is Gucci, you feel me? But with us losing Dolph recently and the way he moved and handled his career and his masters and everything, I would say just stick to that you know what i'm saying be independent if you need a back end you know get a label but that don't mean everything that you're expecting gonna happen you know what i'm saying stay what's the word just stay on your grind okay that's important just stay on your grind don't think just because you got a machine behind you that you gotta grind any less now you gotta grind even more harder because like our famous guy behind the camera said it's a whole bunch of us we yeah. all trying to chase the same dream exactly I like that. That was cool. I for sure, for sure, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, so so how long have you been in Vegas? 
Um, my label moved me here in August. Okay. But like, I'm just coming back home. I got kicked out of Michigan schools when I was like in the ninth grade, and I graduated from high school here. So it's like I'm back at the crib. Detroit made me. Vegas paid me. Oh yeah, he 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 on his um. Yeah, he on his shit. Okay, Vegas. Um. And as far as Vegas, like, how do you feel about the music scene that's been going on? Because, you know, like, the past two years, like, I've been out here for probably, like, three years. And I'll say for the past two years, it seems like people have been more, like, pushing their agenda to get more people to play Vegas music and get more tapped in with the local scene. Uh, but how do you feel about the music scene that's going on in Las Vegas right now, if you're tapped in into it? Let's just say I'm still tapping in. I'm, um, like, acquainted with producers and stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm still getting um, tapped in with, like, the, the musicians. Okay. Um, Dizzy Wright, that's one of my main people. Um, you know, he's a dope artist, yeah, yeah. conscious rapper, but I just feel like the, the Vegas scene is real eclectic. Like, you got all type of musicians here, yeah. so you don't know where to tap in at. It's just, it's a good scene when it comes to music, so yeah. I love it. It's kind of like one of them places too, like you just got, once you start getting out, you start meeting different people. Uh, before I built this platform, I probably knew five artists that was in Vegas and then I built the platform and now it's like I'm starting to know everybody and right. starting to see what's going on. Yeah, getting you invited get to different here. stuff, you know, so it's like Vegas one of them places you just got to get out and, and find your niche for sure. For and sure. It's, it's crazy because everybody think like you gotta go to Cali, like you gotta go to LA, yeah. like you can really like pop up here. You just gotta be willing to put that gotta, footwork in. Yeah, you gotta, and then you gotta be professional as well. I feel like a lot of people tend to forget that part as far as your image. Yeah, you, know what I'm saying? you gotta maintain that image. Yeah, at all times, but when you be seen, you know yeah, what I'm you don't wanna, you don't want nobody to think you a liability. You want them to always <laughs> yeah. like that's an asset. I need that on my team, a part yeah. of my squad. I get it. Perfect way to look at it, man. Yeah. Perfect way to look at it. So. Before we wrap this up, go ahead and uh, you can give some shout outs if you got any shout outs to anybody that's done helped you thus far. Uh, anybody. <laughs> shout out to Detroit, period. Okay. Shout out to Vegas, shout out to my label, Ethica. Um, shout out to myself. You never know, like this time last year, I was ready to quit. Just keep going. You never know what's next for you. Even if things not making sense, it's not your plan. It's God's plan. As long as you got faith, trust Him. Everything gonna be exactly how you want it to be. So shout out to God. I love Him. I just got you know what I'm saying. The big God. He definitely does. It. For sure, he definitely does. Won't and he do it? And let them know where they can follow you and check out anything you got going on in the world. On all streaming platforms, Mazi, M A H Z I, and then my Instagram is It's Pay Mazi. Um, yeah, <laughs> just Mozzie and pay Mozzie everywhere. All right, man, y'all make sure y'all tap in and check her out. Shout yeah. out to Mozzie, shout out to the D. We appreciate having you on the platform, man. You have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you. For sure.